guys welcome back to our channel we are doing a grocery haul in hawaii so we'll show you where we go what we get um it's a bit of an adventure we live on the windward side of the island which is the east side and we have to drive to the west side to grocery shop because we don't want to spend a ton of money at the local grocery stores because they are way more expensive so <laughs> So they have Safeway, Foodland, Times, and what else? Longs. All kind of yeah. local grocery stores that we could get what we need, but it's way cheaper to buy in bulk. So we usually go to Sam's at least once a week and then typically Walmart. So uh, living on an island, like she said, it is an adventure. So we figured we would record it and put it up. Yeah, we'll just kind of take you guys along today and we do still have to wear masks in the grocery store So that's kind of a bummer. We'll try to talk to you. Hopefully you guys will be able to hear us. So we'll uh, give it a whirl Dale and I are what you call flexible dieters, or if it fits your macros, not to be mistaken for eat whatever you want. We um, eat within our macro guidelines, basically, um, and that's determined by what we're doing, whether we're trying to gain muscle or lose body fat. And a lot of times people ask me, what, what should my macros be, or what are your macros? And that's different for every single person. So if you are interested in, um, dieting or nutrition at all i'll link a website below to uh, get you started and put in a little bit of information and it'll tell you about what your macros should be depending on what you're wanting to do so we were bulking i guess we still kind of are bulking so i'm trying to build Bad. muscle um before the uh, coronavirus uh, closed down all the gyms we were in the gym about five to six days a week lifting heavy eating in a caloric surplus so we were eating more calories than burning in order to build muscle. You cannot lose body fat and build muscle at the same time unless you are a genetic freak. There are a few exceptions or you're brand new to the gym. So you have to eat in the surplus to build muscle. So we were doing that. Um, once the gym closed, it was a little bit harder to, to lift heavy. So we kind of lowered our, our calories and our macros. Um, right now, just kind of focusing on hitting protein every day. So one to 1.2 grams of protein per pound of body weight. Um, and then other than that, just kind of trying to keep the calories a little bit lower just to maintain the muscle that we've built. And then um, once the gym is reopened and we can lift heavy again, we'll probably bump that back up. We'll bulk for maybe a month longer. It's been a long bulk, so I'm excited to start dieting. Dale is very excited to start dieting as well. She's ready to get lean again. Not having a gym really sucks. Yeah. <laughs> it's been rough. So, um, like I said, if you guys uh, are interested in, in diet or, or nutrition at all, you can look at our uh, fitness Instagram account. We post kind of all the meals that we eat, and that's going to change a lot whenever we start cutting. Um, what we eat changes, and that goes back to the macros. So, um, it's interesting. We enjoy it. So, if you're into that kind of stuff, you can follow that Instagram, and we'll kind of talk a little bit more about nutrition and macros maybe whenever we get to the grocery stores. We'll link that Instagram account below so you guys can check that out. Yep. First stop, Sam's Club. This is where we come to get all of our bulk items. A lot of people on this island go to Costco. That seems to be a more popular option, but we already had a Sam's Club membership because my mom, I was on hers back home, so shout out Mama Casey for uh, letting us use her Sam's membership. <laughs> yeah, um, and we have to go multiple places because um, we didn't know this before we came here, but Walmart in Hawaii, they don't have a deli. Um, I guess what I mean by deli is you can't get fresh uh, meat or cheese, whatever, nor stuff you would normally get at the, around the deli area. Um, you can get like frozen chicken breasts, but that's about it. So um, Sam's Club and Costco is where you gotta go for 
any kind of decent meat so we come here typically <laughs> uh well always we plan out our meals uh, before we get here so we know kind of what items we have at home what we need to get here they are so um <laughs> i kind of walk through what we need to get at sam's what we need to get at walmart I do the majority of the cooking, not because Skylar can't cook. Um, I just really enjoy it. I love to cook. And I don't love it. I like to bake and stuff like that, but I don't love cooking all the time, so. I love to cook <laughs> mainly because I'm obsessed with nutrition, really. So I kind of look at it as a challenge every week um, to take foods that are unhealthy or things that people normally wouldn't consider uh, healthy food, and I find a way to make it um, to where it fits in our macros so we still eat foods we enjoy like i said if you're interested in nutrition you can go to our fitness instagram or at comment down um, below and, and ask questions i am obviously very passionate about it so i can talk all day long if, if skylar would let me so um i don't want to ramble on for those of you that don't really care but if it is something you're interested in i can make a future video breaking down um, our diets macros what it means how to read a label how to track your food and um, basically kind of walk you through how to set it up for yourself so we'll do one of those just in case for anyone that is interested so when we do we'll let you know it's coming we're gonna mask up and go uh, deal with the madness hooray mine's cuter just kidding <laughs> thank god 50 bucks holy cow no way ridiculous <laughs> so it's actually not super crowded in here today um i guess i mean it's really just the norm you kind of get used to it here of it being way more packed than a lot of places on the mainland so i also can't give a really good price comparison because i didn't really shop at sam's on the mainland um but really i don't think it's that much of a difference once you get past dairy products and i guess meat might be a little bit higher but i would say groceries aren't it's not that big of a difference honestly if i remember right most of the time um the chicken breast at walmart in missouri was like $1.99 a pound so not too big of a difference This is the bread that we like to get. Not too much of a difference, but a little pricey. So, whenever we start um, cutting, we probably won't continue eating this bread. Won't go over the macros, but it's 100 calories a slice. And whenever I'm cutting, I usually get like the 40 or 45 calorie bread. Um, cut some calories, so for now, it's delicious though. Whenever we are cutting, probably won't eat beef near as much obviously but for now big difference in 80 20 and 90 10 um price wise 90 10 is a little more expensive but you're going to save a lot of calories eating a leaner beef currently addicted to asparagus we've been eating a lot of it Here's the section with the produce, which we don't really buy produce here other than like bananas or halos because it's, I mean, we just don't need a lot of it at one time. And my goal is to start going to more farmers markets. Um, since I work for the USDA, I need to try to help the farmers feel like as much as I can, but. Not to mention it's a lot cheaper there yeah. and obviously probably a lot better quality. So bananas, these are organic. They usually have like an organic and a non-organic here, but they're not, not terrible. And we by no means purposely ever buy organic. Um, it just so happens to be all they have today. So eggs is one, they're a little more pricey, but you get a huge slab of them. Um, we don't need eggs, do we? 
So we don't currently need those. Uh, milk is obviously a bit pricier here. Skim. Two percent whole milk, which we've actually been trying to convert to almond milk. No, I have been already <laughs> converted. Skylar <laughs> likes milk. I'm not a really big milk drinker at all. Whenever I do need it, to I cook, love milk. <laughs> I use almond milk because it's far less calories. So one thing that you have to kind of get used to here with it being so populated is that there's a lot of people in here and it gets really congested sometimes and you can't move and so everyone's just kind of at a standstill waiting. <laughs> This is one of the most macro-friendly Greek yogurts. Zero fat, nine carb, 12 protein. Easy, easy, easy protein source right here. And they're delicious. Here's apples, like I was talking about. It's like there's two different kinds right here. They're not super expensive, but I feel like you get way better quality if you go somewhere like Whole Foods or Safeway even, so. You'll pay a little more for them there, but they taste way better. So something with Sam's here that's really frustrating <laughs> is that they don't have turkey bacon all the time. But they do today. <laughs> so we're gonna get a lot. <laughs> Insane macros. 45 calories per slice, two fat, zero carb, six protein. Way, way, way more lean. And so these are really good. We love these, but like I said, it is really frustrating because they'll have them and then they'll go like three weeks to a month without having it at all. So that's why we're getting three because they'll last us. Each pack lasts us about two weeks, I'd say. So we can go a while without having to buy more. <laughs> it was two and a half pounds for 10 bucks. So really that's not bad. So okay, so if you're interested in alcohol prices at Sam's, you will definitely save a lot of money buying here versus any of the liquor stores or grocery stores. Another interesting fact, they do not sell the 30 racks in Missouri Bud Light. So you can get those in Hawaii. The tuna salad is on the menu this week. We run into this a lot. We go to get an item and they're sold out. And <laughs> this is, I think, mostly due to the coronavirus. A lot more items are limit one per member. And apparently tuna is an expensive or popular item here. So we'll be getting that from Walmart today. Just about anything that's a canned item was sold out These for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> there was definitely like nothing here for a while. We couldn't get beef for almost a month because it went so fast. Like you had to literally come here and wait in line for the doors to open to be able to get any kind of meat. So now we're, we're getting get better. better. This is an area we don't touch. We're not soda drinkers, so. Do not drink calories ever. <laughs> it's not necessary. Yeah, um, if you cut out any kind of sugary drink that you are used to drinking soda obviously being one of the main ones you're definitely going to see a difference immediately i have never really been a soda drinker i'll crave like a sprite every now and then but i get sprite zero because they same and no calories <laughs> i drink carbonated water quite a bit whenever i'm cutting weight and uh need a little bit of carbonation and it helps me at least mentally feel like i'm staying full longer so i would say most of the time pretty much any sam's club or costco is uh pretty well busy like this, but um, if not, this is the normal here. It's always very congested. We prefer to not wait in the lines though, so we go to the self-checkout. And we really didn't even get as much as we normally do here because we had quite a bit of meat and stuff left over from last week. Another thing to mention about Hawaii, which is also, I would say the same on the mainland, but all grocery stores here, you have to bring your own bags. So Walmart, Target. Yeah, that's a state law. Like you, they can't sell plastic bags. So you have to buy the reusable ones um, for every store. You can buy like paper bags and stuff at some places they'll offer that, but most of the time you gotta remember to bring your own. It took us a while to get used to that. There's a the total for today. Not terrible. Normally we spend over a hundred here, so. 
another thing very small parking spaces <laughs> I always have to squeeze in bags this is me getting into the car every single time <laughs> Dramatic. Usually not that dramatic, but you get my point. <laughs> Sam's Club isn't that bad uh, when it comes to being crowded most of the time, but Walmart is insane. It's always packed, and now they've got the lines going down each aisle, so it's even more of a cluster. Um, Skylar is a very happy person, and I'm thankful she is. She's always so sweet and smiley. <laughs> I'm typically uh, uh, more of a grumpy old man type, but even if I'm in an outstanding mood after I leave this place, I am always just agitated because it is such a cluster of people. So, I'm going to try to tackle this and uh, I'm going to stay positive. Today's going to be a good Walmart experience. <laughs> and it's already starting off real good. So this is where it gets a little pricier. So I get sweet potatoes with uh, just about everything because they're great. This is about the uh, just this is the um, selection you'll get of non-frozen meat. Yeah, this is it. <laughs> Not a whole lot. This is the goat. It says zero calories, but obviously the more you spray, the serving size is one spray. This has calories in it. Um, I just typically use it if I want to get something a little more seared or crispy or um, maybe sprayed in a pan if I'm cooking something I want to give some butter flavor on top of the no calorie um, cooking spray. So since we're in this aisle at Walmart now, um, here's the other difference in milk. It's not a super big difference, but Sam's and Costco are cheaper. Perfect example of a calorie saver. I know some of you are going to say, Oh, but the sugar-free has such a bad aftertaste. I cannot tell a difference. I think a lot of people I just, can. I think people just say that without even trying it. But 10 calories versus 50. There you go. So my um, mom and dad actually spent some time in Hawaii when my dad was in the army. And growing up, I always heard about these NOH seasoning packets. And now that we're here, I understand why. We have uh, tried most of them. They're um, all amazing, S super good. Don't know which one we're gonna get this week. This is the best one by far, right here. This Terry Burger stuff is incredible. New sweet sour chicken again with pineapple. Sounds good. Okay, pasta. Obviously something we're probably not gonna eat daily whenever we're cutting, um, but whenever I'm trying to put on muscle. Carbs are keen. We're trying to get um, some carbs there. And as you can see, it says different uh, actual serving sizes, but they're all 56 grams. So basically these are identical in macros and calories. So don't really buy into that brown versus white and all that. Some of them are gonna be more nutrient dense. But when it comes down to it, calories are calories. Also, to show you kind of, the prices really aren't too different. Things are still pretty cheap here, which we were told differently when we first came to move here. We were told not to come to Walmart, but after we did, we're like, mm, it's definitely the cheapest. So <laughs> this is where we come. Okay, so we're having tuna salad sandwiches this week. Tuna, still cheap here. This one, chunk by tuna in water, not in oil.
Another snack that I um, eat almost daily whenever I'm bulking is popcorn. And instead of getting some super fattening, calorie dense um, brand, I just get the light butter and then add a little bit of this seasoning and these are just, great. Just as good. I'm getting some goldfish because the child in me has not had these in a long time. And uh, they're only $2.60, so might as well. <laughs> Alright guys, the mask has to come off for this. If you have a medical reason that you need to eat low carb, I will support it. I will help you get your macros right. But if you just eat keto because you think that's how you have to lose weight, this blows my mind. Why? What is the point of adding fat to pancakes? This is a marketing scam right here. They're putting keto on it so that all these people doing the keto diet thinking it's the magic pill are going to buy it. When all really, you're just buying a more calorie dense pancake. Not to mention, it's way more expensive. <laughs> I promise you, you can eat these pancakes and you will lose weight as long as you are in a calorie deficit. It is simple science. Debunked. <laughs> so another thing that's really frustrating, like you said, a lot of things um, are empty when we come. I really wanted tilapia. There is none. So now we have to think of plan B. Or we end up going to a third place or sometimes a fourth place to get everything we need. Yeah. You're never guaranteed to have everything in one spot. That is 100% certain. <laughs> Not unless you want to pay a lot more money. So unfortunately, we're not buying this crunch bar, but I wanted to give one more little slice of nutritional uh, knowledge for you. So I've said macros a lot. Uh, that's protein, carbs, and fat. There are four calories in every gram of protein, four calories in every gram of carb, nine calories in every gram of fat. So if you did the math on this, 12 grams of fat, 29 carb, Two protein I did the math you can you can check it it comes out to 232 calories that's very minor but it's interesting to know the FDA is allowed to round the calorie totals so if you're consuming all day um, you can be consuming more calories than you think you are so that's why it's important to track macros and not calories Woo! so our final total at Walmart which, granted, we did get a few extra things that were not grocery related, but mostly groceries. Usually our total here is average of about $60 or so. So typically, our stop after Walmart weekly is the gas station, which is actually Sam's Gas. That's where we go on the island because it is significantly cheaper than everywhere else. <laughs> yeah, so I just checked um here's the prices at sam's i just looked at the local gas station up the road and it's 338 per gallon so i haven't ran the numbers on that but i'm gonna assume that just the uh, savings in gas would cover your sam's club membership for a year so oh i guarantee it yeah okay so we're back in the car on our way home um our only stops today were sam's and then walmart which are our usual two um, we just found out that Whole Foods is doing, they have like an Amazon Prime membership discount. So sometimes they'll have good discounts on certain produce, but we didn't need anything from there today. So Sam's and Walmart was about all it was, gas. And that's it. So it was pretty easy. Um, we started shopping around 11.45, I'd say, and it's almost 1.30. So it took us, I mean, all in all, I'd say about an hour and a half really so not terrible but so that's really quick <laughs> normally it's like a half of a day and a several hours uh, excursion yeah we didn't need a whole lot like I said before we had some leftovers from earlier in the week that we didn't use so less meat this week less produce um, but we'll kind of show you what we got and how much everything was when we get home so we'll see you there
Okay, we made it back home. This is the bulk of the haul. Voila. Like we said, we got a few items that weren't grocery related, but um, for these particular items, it came out to be around 125 bucks. So typically we budget around $150 a week for groceries. So we met that goal for the week. And like I said, at some point we might do a, um, a, bit, a budget video, if that's something you guys are interested in seeing on the cost of living in Hawaii and what we um, put towards each category in our budget. But other than that, I think we're going to eat some lunch and we might hit a beach later or something like that. Until then, see you next time. <laughs>